Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 24. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now, let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. We are starting off with a Mazda owners meeting today. Um, I, d I don't know what else there is to say. It's a Mazda. Uh, starting off with Scoop Circuit, moving on to Mazda Raceway, Amalfi Coast, and then Camino Valle de Montserrat. Let's get going. All right, chat, it's time to wankle. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, that's brilliant. So, yeah, we're back with this RX-7. I should have actually changed the rear bumper because I don't like the look of it. I'll be totally honest, but... Oh, well. Here's what it is. Rotating is happening. Agreed. We are wankling and rotatoring. This thing's got grip, by the way. At least I don't have to go through um, the upgrade menus for Motorsport 3 onwards. I can just quick upgrade. And as much as I hated quick upgrade when I was... Before, when I started playing Forza, it's actually really good. Quick upgrade does the job. Obviously, if you're looking for that extra, like, 1% of performance, you need to do custom upgrade, but this does the job. So, rotary technique. Yeah, so um, a lot of people aren't very happy with YouTube at the moment. Uh, I've seen a couple of big YouTubers have actually put out, like, sort your shit out YouTube videos. Um... Honestly, me personally, I agree with all of them. There's a lot of problems with YouTube. Um, crap. Marvelous. Ow! Corey Kenshin, yeah. So that's the one that I saw. Um, it's spelled with a C, by the way. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I saw his YouTube video, and he was obviously accusing YouTube of uh, favoritism and racism. While... <sighs> you can't rule out racism at all. There's, there's no way that you can rule that out. I think it's extreme. And if that is the case, YouTube's in a lot of shit. Chances of that is very slim. I think it's just... No... Not ironic, that's not the word I'm looking for. I think it's just coincidence. Yeah, so... I, I don't think it's invalid because of the fact that he's gone around and said... And explained why he said it. I don't think it invalidates his video. I think it was bloody... A, amazing video that he put out. Um... Obviously, I, d I don't think it's racism on the part of YouTube. I just think... I think YouTube's system is so broken. Um, so when it comes to YouTube flagging videos, it typically gets auto-flagged. That's understandable. I understand they need to have a robot to do that. But I genuinely think that first appeal that people do is also still done by that same robot. I don't think YouTube actually has people to do appeals. Because every time I've appealed something, something that I have the rights for, like, I pay for licenses for music and stuff like that. And whenever you try and fight those, YouTube will always deny my appeal immediately. 
So it, it's good we're seeing people speaking up about the system. I don't think they have an actual person. So when someone's denied it for his video, I don't think it was racism at that point. I think it was just a robot had decided for a second time. Look, I was... I think the robot just said, look, I was right the first time. It's still flagging up all the same points that I'm looking for. You're still going to be claimed. We're now level 35, which is nice. And we got a Ferrari FXX. Oh, fuck yeah. I love this car. It's a beautiful car. The Ferrari FXX is stunning. Oh, that got me excited. <laughs> so yeah, continuing on from the last clip. I think when he was mentioning about, um, obviously, because he mentioned either someone at YouTube was potentially being racist when doing the human review. The second, it was the second part that he had the biggest problem with. The fact that on what is apparently a human review still got flagged. So, um, I, I genuinely think their appeal process on YouTube. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get back onto that in a second. So I genuinely think their appeal process is still automated. Even if a human, like, it, this is the thing I don't understand why YouTube does it, but I think it's how they do it. Because, honestly, if it's not, then YouTube is broken and needs to fix their shit. And if it is how it works, they need to change it, but it sort of makes sense why it happens. So, the algorithm flags up questionable videos. Anything that's got self-harm, references, stuff like that. Um, anything against community guidelines. We'll flag that and we'll age restrict them, right? Now, beyond that, this is now becoming a try not to get age restricted challenge, by the way. <laughs> um, beyond that... It's supposed to go to a human review, but every, pretty much 95% of the times, when you appeal, you will still see absolutely no change whatsoever when you appeal. Chances are, these are not going through appeal processes. They're not going to a human, they're just going straight back to a robot. Which, if that is what's happening, explains why it's happening... Proves that YouTube isn't racist in any way, shape, or form. Which is good. But it also means YouTube needs to change it because it's screwing over creators and it's not working. If it does go to a human, then we've got to assume a little bit of foul play is going on. Whether it's... I think it's more on the side of favoritism than racism. Because racism is very difficult to get away with in modern day anyways. To the point that if you were racist, I don't think you'd get away with it. Especially in the UK and the US. It's very difficult to get away with that. Um, especially if you're working in a company as big as like Google or something like that. Beyond that, I think the way that YouTube reacted to it was right. I think they should once because this is why I think it was a machine that flags on the appeals process because then once um, Corey brought up that Markiplier's video didn't get flagged um, at that point it all of a sudden got unflagged and I think that was the point when an actual human stepped in and realised that this was wrong. I think Corey's response to that was probably a little bit wrong. Because he basically just told YouTube to flag everyone's video. Uh, 
But at the same time, I think it was good because it calls them out on their shit. So, you know. I think once it got to an actual person, those stuff got dealt with. So, I, I really don't think that second, that human appeal is actually human at all. I just think it goes straight back through the system. But what is really concerning about that is the fact that those bot appeals, because they can't be human, if you go through that system and the bot still thinks it's bad, you get copyright strikes, you get guideline strikes, whatever. So at that point, it's quite difficult. bad. Ghost saving. Right, we got nine grand for that. I'll take it. Thank you very much. And we got some brake disc upgrades, I think. That is actually a really good one, Zeno. Compact brake disc. <laughs> We're going to use CDs as brake discs now. There's such an excess of, like, CDs and shit now. It's unreal. unreal. <laughs> Floppy brake disc. Yeah, so... Hmm. I think it's strange. I'll be honest. I... If there is a problem with YouTube in the way that they... D well, there's clearly a problem. But if it's a problem on a human aspect, I think YouTube needs to deal with it. I think they need to fire people that are favoring creators because in all honesty if you're favoring a certain creator that's not the way you should be doing stuff because all creators as based off of how youtube um constantly in their press releases and stuff like that saying that creators are equal have equal opportunities and all that if they're honestly serious about that then they can't have their reviews team be in favoritisms but whatever the word is they can't be favoritists towards certain people that that can't go on so people will either need to be completely retrained fired whatever because they're not doing their job right um and it's obviously not like a, oh they're too slow at their job or whatever that's a they're doing it completely wrong out of what is pretty much malice it's m malicious intent at the end of the day. Whether it's to do with racism or favoritism, it's still malicious. If it is down to the fact that it's a robot that's doing the appeals, then they need to get people onto that rather than robots because they earn so much money, YouTube as a company, they can afford to hire people to do these appeal processes with no questions whatsoever. Because the thing is, right, when it comes to the bot flagging stuff as well, the bot flags a certain segment of video. It doesn't flag an entire video, so all they need to do is check that small portion of video. If it's flagged 30 seconds at the end of the video because it mentions uh, a reference or something, right, get someone to listen in on that. 30 seconds, confirm what the bot has flagged is correct or incorrect. And mark it accordingly. Your face. There is love. There is love. So, here's the thing I don't understand about this song. My curse. So, apparently... So I, I obviously like 
delving into details about like video games and stuff like that. So, um, if any of you have played Guitar Hero 3, you may or may not know that half of the songs on that are original recordings of like the original songs. But the other half of the songs are all made up songs. They're obviously based off of the real songs, but they're re-recorded so that they don't have to worry about licensing rights and stuff like that. So this song, My Curse, sounds very different in Guitar Hero with the way that it is. But apparently, it's the actual audio, the master recording that's used in Guitar Hero, which really confused me. And honestly, I have no words for it because it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Does not make sense whatsoever. Copyright moment. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've got copyrighted music all over the Twitch stream, but... I'm not too fussed about the Twitch stream, to be honest, because I know what counts as copyright. And I know about, like, malicious intent and stuff like that. I'm fine with what I do. It's YouTube will just instantly take all the money. So I won't have any chance of earning. That's why I don't have it on the YouTube content. Here we go. Is this the last? I think this is the last race. I will admit, though, YouTube systems does need an overhaul. Look, we're in first place now. Since we hit level 35, we're now in first place. I think it is based off of your driver level. Wanna take my toys, hey? What, what, oh? I am absolutely a hundred percent convinced it's based off a driver level now. But what I am excited for is, um, we're already twenty-five percent through this game. In terms of events. <laughs> Bad luck, Cotto. Yeah, so... I think it's cool that um, Xbox has Discord on it. I think it's a pain in the ass the system that they have at the moment for getting... Discord integrated because you have to sort of scan QR codes and use Xbox mobile to get it onto your console But I do think that's pretty good. Yeah, 25% through all the events Nasty nasty if you have a look on my spreadsheet, it will actually say Nasty 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 but, you got a thing. That's 25% of events completed. So some of those are shorter. We got some extremely short ones coming up. So that's going to go up very quickly when we get to those. But we've also got the longer ones that's going to take like 50 minutes to do. So it's going to go up slower when it gets to those. And when it comes to the World Series, I'm predicting those fi that final World Series is going to take like 6 hours to do. Capture card's still dead. I did actually do some research on capture cards. A couple of days before you left, Kodo. Um, not before. I think it might have been after, actually. Because uh, I'm obviously looking at upgrading when it comes to doing uh, the Xbox One content. To a much higher quality card. Um, but yeah, I did some research. And one of the common problems with um, cheaper capture cards is the fact that they were prone to overheating. Um, as for why, I don't know. It just seems to be a very common denominator for cheaper capture cards. Um, I think it might be just cheaper parts heat up more. Could be the fact it doesn't have cooling, proper cooling, but... Typically, a capture card doesn't need that much cooling. 
Um, especially those big bulky ones that go in the computers. They don't need much cooling because they just rely on the graphics card that's right nearby. And if they do, they just have a small heat sink on them. They don't have actual fans. Oh, I'm going to have to get an Ava Media capture card, though. Not bad. 6,750. Coolio. I need to get a monitor that's got HDR. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a new monitor and a new capture card at the same time. Not bad. I'll take my rewards. Thank you very much. Moving on to the Zim Zima. Who got the keys to my motherfucking Beamer? Owners Club. <laughs> uh, starting off with Miguelo. Moving on to Silverstone. Uh, Maple Valley. And then Sedona Raceway. Let's go. Penis. <laughs> that was brilliant. Hit the beat. Oh, yeah, you should probably pay him back. Hit the beat. Yo, this BMW is nice. See, this is why I liked Motorsport 3 and Motorsport 4. Probably not. I'll probably just ask my grandparents to borrow their bank card and then send them the money through bank transfer because I can still do it that way. I just buy him through... I mean, I can put him on my wish list. I can't get into my Amazon account. No, I can't. <laughs> on the brakes! <laughs> Could work actually. That could work. That way I don't have to worry about my grandparents. <laughs> Fair enough. Charge my edge. Hit the beat. They found me the money. I've got the money. It's just the fact I can't, um, what's it called? I haven't got a bank card. So my old one's cancelled. Which actually turns out I didn't lose my old one. It's just someone else had it. But yeah, I cancelled that one to get a new one ordered. I only had two years left on that card anyways, because my old one had had it for three years anyways. So, it's not like I've completely screwed up, because, I mean, it's going to reset that time. I've got another five years on this new card now, but, yeah, that's a good shout. I'll take you up on that offer then, Connor. I will definitely get you the money, though. It's not, I'm not a dick. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
that's the one thing I do. Like, I ordered my card, my bank card, about a week ago now. And it says three to five working days. It has been five working days now. Technically six, because the post office works on a Saturday. So, I mean, I, I mean, the, back, the card's in transit, for fuck's sake. I can look on my Google Pay. I know what my card number is. But I can't use it because I don't have the physical card and the security code on the back. <laughs> uh, I'm with Nationwide, so... Bit of a pain in the ass, as anyone with Nationwide knows. <laughs> Fucking absolute pain in the ass as they are. Those bloody card readers! <laughs> 30% discount on driveline upgrades by BMW Motorsport. Nice. For the night, fuck being polite. I'm going wild for the night, fuck being polite. I'm going wild for the night, fuck being polite. I love this song. Do you know one thing I didn't know? Um, a majority of these BMWs, I believe this is one of them. It's actually got a fucking V10 in it. Now, I'm not going to lie, I sort of assumed BMWs were all like V8s. V8s and V6s. I didn't think they dabbled in V10s. Which kind of explains the weird engine noise that this thing has. Because it's a very v 10 sounding engine. But when you think about it, modern day BMWs now have like V6s. And they have double the horsepower of what this could produce. Probably. It's got four less fucking cylinders. Meow. Going wild for the night, fuck being polite. Wop, 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 wop. Wobble up a dub dub. Not bad. Ja, I have actually been to Silverstone during a practice weekend for Formula One. Uh, I think it was back in either 2009 2010, but we sat in one of those suites on that corner. You know, as the two buildings sort of join. All this crazy shit I did tonight. Those will be the best memories for me. Hey, hey. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Cool, Leo. Thank you very much for that, Cotto. Appreciate the assistance. <laughs> I appreciate the assistance for a man in need. <laughs> I have been let down by my bank once again. To be fair, I I will admit I am on my seventh bank card with this bank, so ah, I'll send you thirty. It'll be easier that way, anyways. Means I don't have to count. <laughs> Therapy for me tonight. Memories. Therapy for me. Hey, hey. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. 
Hey, hey. Do, 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 do. 10 and 10 p.m. Sounds good. Any day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And there we go. This thing is flying through these tracks, I'll be honest. We got 30% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by BMW Motorsport. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. <laughs> Night. Your sub might be running out, Kado, that's why. It might have already run out, to be honest. Like, because I'm kind of surprised that it's still there. Because I thought it was more than a month ago, so. <laughs> See, I don't play lots of music games like I used to, but I used to fucking love Guitar Hero. See, here's the thing, right? If you were to buy a game and you were to be told, oh, this game's going to cost you £100, but it's one-off purchase, a lot of people would turn their nose to it. But because it's microtransactions in a free-to-play game, people will spend that money. And that's why I hate microtransactions. make speaking facts exactly everyone if you you look at um developers that are having to increase their game prices because inflation and shit right i mean you look if we were to go back when test drive unlimited 2 came out on the xbox 360 that was selling for 49.99 when that came out now that was a lot of money for a video game back then but we all bought that like, yeah, that's fine. Now that they're charging $79.99 for a game, people are like, no, no, that's that's ridiculous. No. Even though that $49.99 back in 2010 is probably worth about £80 now. So you're looking at average inflation, but people are like, no, I wouldn't spend that on that game. Even though the game has a lot more content than it does now. And all that stuff, but no, wouldn't spend that money. Oh, but let me spend two hundred pounds a month on Fortnite skins. That's fine. Stupid, honestly. That's why I'm not too fussed when I buy a game because I know the game has the content that I pay for. Oh, yeah. One more time. Celebrate and dance with me. One more time. We're gonna celebrate. Celebrate and dance with me. One more time. Music's got me feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate. Celebrate and dance with me. One more time.
sexy and I know it. Yeah. Sorry for body rocking. That's a tune. Yo, have either of you played Through the Fire and Flames on Guitar Hero? Come back to me when you've been able to FZ that. Haha, <laughs> I haven't either, I'll be honest. <laughs> I have completed it though, which is a feat in itself. So, that's impressive. 30% discount of Valve's upgrades by BMW Motorsport. Woohoo! I need to have a look, see if I can find a guitar... A, an Xbox 360 Guitar Hero controller in working condition. It doesn't need to be mint. It needs to be clean, obviously. Duh. But it needs to be in good condition that I can use it that is usable. Because I have one. But uh, the problem is that it overstrums like fucking mental. Like you strum the strum bar, half the time it doesn't strum, and half the time it strums 17 times. So I need to look at getting a new one of them. Then I can hopefully wire it up to my Xbox or my PC. Therapy by Electric Enemy. Okay, I'll have a look at it in a minute. I'll finish this race and I'll add it to the queue. Uh, yeah, so either I need to find a wired 360 controller, Guitar Hero controller, so I can play Clone Hero on my PC and Guitar Hero 3 on the Xbox as well, because why not? That's like the shit. Um, but yeah. Kodo, you say be right back going to get McFlurry from the freezer. As opposed to what? You're getting the McFlurry from the fucking oven. Oh yeah, be right back, lads. I'm getting my McFlurry out the oven. <laughs> no, the freezer's where it goes. You grab your McDonald's and you put the McFlurry in the freezer so that when you're done eating your dinner after getting home, it's still cold. <laughs> but that's implying that people put it somewhere other than the freezer. <laughs> you put it... You're... You're... No, you're... You're fucking psychopath. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I need to do some testing. I want to see if I can uh, delay the tidal audio by about 0.1 second. So that when I'm humming along to the music, it doesn't actually interfere. <laughs> and it actually matches up with my voice for stream. Obviously, it doesn't matter if it's delayed for YouTube, because guess what? It doesn't get recorded for YouTube, so it wouldn't even matter. Oh, fuck. Kado, can you link that to me in DMs so that I can take a look at it later? Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Because uh, otherwise, that would, one, disappear in the chat, and two, I would forget.
Go on, you take 